In this video, we will discuss the radiological signs in pneumoperitoneum. There are about 15 plus named signs and we will have a conceptual approach to remember these signs better. The first and the classic sign is air under the diaphragm. So the patient has to be kept erect for up to 10 minutes so that the air rises up in the abdomen and then a chest x-ray or abdomen erect x-ray can be taken. So here we can see the air collected under the right hemidiaphragm since right hemidiaphragm is the highest point in the abdomen the air rises up to that level and this is the most common location of free air to be seen it should not be missed even if only chest x-ray is done regular sign in regular sign we can see that the bowel wall is very well visualized so here we can see inner bowel outline and then we can see outer bowel outline also. The bowel wall outline is accentuated and it is known as regular sign. The concept behind this is there is normally air inside the lumen of the bowel and in these cases there is air outside the bowel also which is abnormal. This air is because of pneumoperitoneum. Hence, the bowel outline is well visualized. Next, we have telltale sign or triangle sign. Here, we can see triangular pocket of air in between the small bowel loops. So, this is because the air is trapped, the free air is trapped between the mesenteric leaves or between the small bowel loops, which appears like a triangle on erect x ray. Coming to cupola sign, here we can see free air which is collected under the diaphragm in the form of a dome. Cupola, the word cupola means dome. So why does this happen? This is usually seen in supine x-rays when air is collected beneath the central tendon of the diaphragm. So seen on supine films. Next we have leaping dolphin sign. Here we can see this dolphin shaped collection of air concept behind this is there is outlining of diaphragmatic muzzle slips by free air and hence it is seen prominently in the shape of dolphin another classic sign that is continuous diaphragm sign the entire diaphragm shadow can be well visualized because it is outlined by air beneath it this is because free air is lining the inferior aspect of the entire diaphragm continuous diaphragm sign is also seen in cases of pneumomediastinum where free air is collected above the diaphragm in cases of large pneumoperitoneum or massive pneumoperitoneum we can see the free air lining entire peritoneum and the abdomen looks like a football or resembles a football hence known as football sign this is seen in cases of massive pneumoperitoneum. This is the football resemblance. Next we have falciform ligament sign also known as silver sign. In this x-ray we can see hyperdense shadow of falciform ligament. Falciform ligament attaches anterior surface of liver to anterior abdominal wall. And when air outlines this falciform ligament it is separately seen. Here you can see the falciform ligament surrounded by air on either side. And hence it is very well visualized on anterior x-ray it is connecting the liver to the anterior abdominal wall another ligament is sign is lateral umbilical ligament sign also known as inverted v sign here we can see two hyperdense shadows those are nothing but lateral umbilical ligaments in fetus they are the ones which contain umbilical arteries later regress to form lateral umbilical ligaments in adults which carry inferior epigastric vessels so the free air lining these ligaments will accentuate their visibility on ap x-ray abdomen erect similar to this we can also see the median umbilical ligament also known as uracus and when the free air lines the median umbilical ligament it's accentuated on erect x-ray abdomen this is known as uracus sign. Next the hepatic edge sign as the name suggests the hepatic edge or the liver edge is visualized. What we see is air 
collecting beneath the inferior aspect of liver hence inferior margin of liver is well visualized and the entire liver shadow can be well seen on the erect x-ray abdomen that was when air is collected beneath the liver now if air is collected anterior to liver its opacity is reduced on x-ray and hence lucency over liver shadow is seen that's when free air occupies the anterior surface of the liver next we have the doge cap sign here we can see this triangular pocket of air collecting in the morrison's pouch that is the doge cap image and this is in the right subchondral region so this is when free air is collected in the morrison's pouch that is the dependent space between liver and the right kidney so this is the morrison's pouch and the triangular pocket of air another named sign related to superior quadrant of the abdomen is anterior superior oval sign in which we can see oval pockets of air collecting in the superior quadrants of the abdomen or beneath the diaphragm so these are oval shaped air pockets anterior to the liver that's all for the x-ray signs next we have a sign on ultrasound so what happens is we can see parallel shaped horizontal echogenic lines just underneath the probe this is because of the free air collecting below the peritoneum and these are the reverberation artifacts due to the free air known as enhanced peritoneal stripe sign like share and subscribe our videos and follow us on youtube and instagram comment down for more such videos